I'm Jasmine Anderson here, live at Fox Hollow in Houston, Texas. We got one of the hottest, hottest rappers right now. His name is Little Kiki coming up. So I'm going to do an exclusive interview with him here in a little bit. I'm Jasmine Anderson here, live in Houston, Texas. I have one of Houston's very known artists. We got Little Kiki in the building. We're at his listening party. I'm excited. I just got through listening to his whole album right now. What is something that you want your fans to take from the CD? Well, the CD is just, um, it's really an admiration or a testament to my hard work because this is just the album before the album. When I go into doing my albums, I do 30 or 40 songs each time. I take some and I make an album before the album to really challenge myself to make sure that the, the, the next album is going to be great. So my fans, they get into it, they love it. My first one was with Swiss House, it was called ABA, it had Chunk of the Deuce on it, it's the one that springboarded me nationally. So I always, now that I do albums, I always do one before it. And ABA is not the real whole album, Self Made 2 is getting ready to come up, which is going to have Kevin Gates, ASAP Rocky, all kind of people on it. But the ABA is a great, and like I say, it's real challenging for me as an artist because I do great music. I put hooks on everything. I give it a mixtape feel, original beat feel, and you know, I just work hard on it to make sure that they get prepared for the next one. I totally agree. I mean, each joint, I had a little jam going to it, and then how you put different mixes as well into the music. Um, so you said ABA. Is that standing for album before the album? Standing for album before Okay, album. okay. And this is the fourth one? The fourth one. Okay, so this is the ABA4, and you guys can find this. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook, right? Key 713 on Instagram, Self Made 713 on um, on Facebook, Twitter, Don Key 713. And we also we also have, um, you can go to SoSouth.com, and everything is on um, iTunes, Amazon. You can get the album everywhere you want to get it. Okay. And you being from Houston, what is something from being like a Houston rapper? Like, what got you into saying, you know what, I want to be a rapper? Well, you know, easy. You know, from the, my, my surroundings when I grew up around and just loving music. I was born to do it. I'm easy to do I've been doing it 20 years. I sold 3 million records independent. Um, you know, and I'm still here. I got over 50 albums on iTunes, and it's just my love for it, you know. And now I'm still doing it for the love. I don't have to do it anymore. I'm good. God has blessed me in a major way. I got businesses. I got community things. And so I'm great. So now I'm really back in love with it because I'm able to do it for the love. I don't have to do it for bills or do it for nothing like that. So it's a great thing. And that's always the best feeling when you can just do it from the heart, something that you just want to do. And I see you got your self-made gear. Is that one of your lines going on right now? Um, one of my lines is called self-made. It's, um, it's a... It's, it's really explain who I am. It's like the, the college kid who has three jobs to work for college. It's like the lawnmower man who has one lawnmower and then he has five. Self-made. I came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Working, independent entrepreneur. 713 is my city. I rep it all the time. It's like I love New York. I built this city. My first album, Don't Mess With Texas, sold 200,000. It really gave the legs to this city. Gave it the, um, you know, the lingo. I always know what I'm talking about. Coming down, all that. That comes from me. So I started to go with 713 instead of 713 and it, it caught on quick every time I do a brand I make sure I do album before it and that's what album before the album is for is getting ready for my new album self made too when I started my brand I did an album called self made dropped it in April came back with the album before the album now I'm doing self made too by the time I'm finished with self made too the self made brand will be where I needed to be exactly and I feel like it's already getting there a lot of people are hitting you up about getting some merchandise and things like that well let's get on to um, the community You're saying you got a lot of things going on in the community a lot of let me know a little bit more about that. Well, my community things, I'm real big in the Little League football area. I sponsor football teams. I've been doing it for years. That's why I received the award from President Obama this year from, um, for, you know, just my dedication to the streets and, and giving back to the kids in the same communities that I do. We, we feeding 100 families this 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 year for um, Christmas and Thanksgiving. We doing turkeys and toys. Um, we, we do we do AIDS testing, screen testing. We do everything for the community. It's not for accolades or for the camera. That's why a lot of people don't know about it because we don't do it for the camera. We really do it for the community and for the people who really need it. We're not trying to get no points for doing it. That's always the best thing we can get from the heart. And you being an artist and being from Houston and everybody knowing you, giving back to the community is mm -hmm. such a big thing and I think a lot of artists forget that like to give back to their roots and give back to the youth you know yeah. because a lot of them are looking up to you guys and seeing what you guys are doing and trying to copy yeah. and things like that so I think that's beautiful I always love to hear what they're doing in the community things like that so that just that makes me really good and congratulations your award for Obama Thank I think you. that's awesome and amazing your CD got so much going 
on. But before you go, I have to ask, word of wisdom, I'm really big on asking people, first off, you know, just what word of wisdom kind of stuck with you growing up or just something that maybe your grandma, maybe somebody, your mom or uncle told you and it kind of stuck with you? Well, as long as you're in a race, you got the chance to win it. You know, that's what I tell people, man, just keep trying, keep doing what you're doing every day. One one motto that I go by, I'm a God-fearing person, so um, whatever God got planned for you, whatever you got, you're going to get it in time. No sooner, no faster. Everything I have right now, I wanted a long time ago, and I got it when I was supposed to get it. And like I tell people, man, I don't care if you're the turtle or the rabbit, the longer you're in the race, you got a chance to win it. You know what I'm saying? And I just keep striving. Every day you wake up, you got another opportunity at it. Just, you know, people, they, people nowadays, they give up easy. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing, I've been doing it 20 years. I haven't always... Um, it hasn't always went the way that I wanted to go, but the opportunity has always presented itself for me to keep trying, and that's what I do. I think that's amazing. And just like inspiring you or motivates you, who, what is something or a person who inspires you or motivates you? Well, in my later career, like I just told him, Paul Wall is somebody that really motivates me because um, he tell everybody I'm his favorite rapper. Everybody think that he raps like me or he get things from me, but when I got over there and start doing work with Paul Wall, his dedication to the fans and signing autographs and staying late and, and, and really working the crowd and do what he do is something that I picked up, man, and I loved him for that because I was a dude that I was in and out. I done, I'm gone, you know, I'm out. But Paul Wall is going to stay there, sign every autograph. He's going to take every picture. He's going to do everything he do. And for him, for me to be his favorite, my favorite, for me to be his favorite artist and to see him doing that, that really motivated me. That's, I think that's a true artist too, just being genuinely and down to earth and just giving to the people because they love you, you know, your fans, they do a lot, support you, go out and get to you. So I think that's so beautiful. I'm so glad you let me do this interview I'm with so glad you. you. Got so I know you gotta get some self made. Hey, that's fine. We added. <laughs> And you waited. I'm so glad you got the able yeah, to Yeah, and I hear so much what you guys, you guys got to go check him out. Again, let them know where they can get your music, download everything, pick up the CDs, do everything. Let them know one more time. You can get the CDs. You can pick it up, soulsouth.com. You can go to um, Amazon, iTunes, wherever you want to go, man. You can pick it up, Best Buy. The new self-made is in Best Buy. ABA album before the album is out right now. It came out last Friday. It's on the front page of iTunes. You can pick it up, man. It's growing great. Ah, oh, you guys, go pick up that stuff right now. I'm Jasmine Anderson. We're here live in Houston, Texas at Fox Hollow. Go download that music. We got to do the South Side, the South Side. Yeah. Wow.